All right, Andy, we got some good ones for you tonight. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to another Friday Night Frenzy on a Chamber of Commerce kind of evening weather-wise. Perfect for high school football, and we got plenty of it for you tonight. Thanks for joining us. I'm Fred Human, And I'm Justin Kent, and indeed we have some pretty good matchups. We got a good show today with even some even matchups. We always start with our game of the week, and this one was an opener in the CAAC blue with two contenders squaring off. Tell us about it, Fred. Oh, yeah, I'll tell you. A better lineup of games this week than last week, too. Starting at the top, Grand Ledge starting 2-0 and scoring 83 points in doing so. Traveling to East Lansing to face a Trojan team that was knocked off and upset last week on the road. EL up 3-0 early. Ben Fletcher has trouble the snap, scoops it up, fires it to Preston Bonet. He's going to pick this off. There's nobody in front of him. He's going to take this 80 yards the other way for a pick six. After the extra point, the Comets take a 7-3 lead. Grand Ledge got it right back. Thanks to an onside kick, Brady Williams found the end zone touchdown there. Seven yards out, suddenly it's 14-3. Trojans had an answer, though. Dewante Sam Jr. are going to take the pitch, turn the corner, take it in from five yards out. East Lansing would cut the deficit 14-10. Grand Ledge fumbled to start the half. Jace Clarizio got going in the half, lowers his shoulder into the end zone, 17-14. Next DL possession, Clarizio again, getting the handoff, shakes the defender, high steps his way from 14 yards out into the end zone, 24-14, Trojans up 31-21. How about a hat trick for the Michigan State commit? Clarizio going to take it 78 yards to the house. That puts the cherry on top. EL pulls away, takes down Grand Ledge, 38-21. We asked Jace Clarizio what was the turning point of this game. Um, Dewante Sams, he, he ran that dude over and knocked his helmet out, uh -huh. and they were kind of getting each other's face, uh -huh. and that kind of lit a spark under both teams. And, you know, we had more of the spark, and we just, that fired us up. And that, that's really what turned us up and enabled us to keep going. Uh, we, were, we displayed a lot of resilience, and, and uh, there's a certain persist, uh, persistent uh, thing that we, uh, we did uh, squandering all those opportunities early is, is very, very scary because as I, I just told them, you don't know whether you, in that game you're gonna get opportunities again, but we made some plays. We made some plays and our playmakers made plays. Playmakers 